the record button and let's get let's get rocking. So let's uh let's start off with uh, some some wins and successes, some uh, things that have been going on this week that that have uh, made us go wow or 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 ahas, really cool things that have gone on over the last uh, uh, week or so. So so fire away. This is a Spitfire. Just shoot shoot them out there. Some positive fun things that have gone on over the last week. A combination of bold and the coaching classes together have been giving me so much valuable information that with them together, and I'm like learning from different angles, but the same things, so beautiful. I'm learning so much. Awesome, Tony. Who's next? Slow, yes. Yeah, uh, morning team. Good morning, Miguel. Um, yeah, I just wanna I just wanna shout out that, you know, um I I, I appreciate uh you know Lee and Eddie's uh, coaching call because I I see myself getting so, so better at um, monitoring my scripts because I'm role playing and I'm making phone calls and I'm doing my, 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 my scripts, like, you know, uh, role playing my scripts. So um, I read the growth, you know, so thanks again for the, the, the training, the training that I, uh, from Lee and, and Eddie. Awesome. Thanks, Miguel. Awesome. Thank you, Miguel. All right, what are we getting that feedback from? Co host. I think it's Ariana. Ariana, oh, sorry. I don't, I don't okay. know if you want to mute yourself. Sweet. Who's next? Wins and successes. Um, oh, hold on, hold on. Larry, 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 go ahead. I just unmuted you. Fire away. I had a closing on a property in East Hollywood on Friday for a, a real good selling price. And I got a contract on a listing this morning and I've got four pending and I just need more listings. And that's what I'm working on. <laughs> oh, Larry, thank you for sharing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Larry. I love yeah. hearing wins. Congrats, Larry. Thank you. And that's awesome, Larry. I would like to also share uh, for the last week as well, uh, throwing in there. Um, it's been great, by the way. The market's been, it's been very great for us. We had uh, two closings for this week, and so far we have about four or five more scheduled for the end of this month. So it's been, it's, so far it's going to be the best month that I've had in my career. And, and yeah, and also to my wife, Kathy, she also closed on her first com uh, commercial rental. So she did her own transaction on that one as well. So it's, it's going to be a record month for us, and, and we're, we're excited. Baez. Congrats, congrats. Baez. Yes. Baez, hey, is Alan. that you? Yes, that's me. Put your gorgeous face on the, on the screen, would you? Yes, I sure will. I'm just – Come on. I don't have my Where? business shirt on. I'm prospecting from home today. <laughs> it's okay. As long as you have some shirt on. Yes, I have. Well, I have a, a tank top on here. There you go, and your beautiful prize <laughs> there. Oh, well done! Woo! <laughs> yes, yeah. So it's gonna be an awesome month, you know. Uh, so far, we have about six, seven pending for this month, and you know, listings coming in, and and yeah, we're just we're, we're excited. The rest of this year is gonna take us. Congratulations! Love it, love it, love it. Love it. Get to right. see you. Yeah, miss you. I miss you, Dick. <laughs> Good okay. stuff. I have one. Thank you, leadership, for allowing us to have agents sign up for Bold um, and offering to pay the upfront cost to get everyone in. And they were like super, all were like super excited for Richard and Alan and Lee. Yeah, that's a huge. Good, Alan. Thank you, team. No, just thank you for the appreciation. Thank you. It's our pleasure. The goal uh, is the goal is 100% of the agents that work in the market center in production. 
That's our goal. On, imagine a market center, the energy, the camaraderie, the community, the family. When you work in a market center where 100% of the people that you work with are in production, pretty amazing, right? Yeah. And Bold is Bold Productivity Coaching and an awesome team leader. And Bold are things that will help with that. So when Richard and I just looked at that, it was a no-brainer. Okay, Chica? Thank you. Thank you. I, I just want to say thank you to all the leaders. Thank you, Chica, Eddie. Thank you, Lee. Thank you, um, Alan. I'm just so grateful to be a part of a market center that really wants to see us succeed. I'm so thankful and so appreciative. And Sue as well. Uh, Sue is the glue that keeps it all together. Listen, let's be clear about this so everybody knows. If I get hit by a truck, you don't see me again. And Lee agrees. Lu S Sue is the super glue. She's the super <laughs> For thank sure. you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you know what? One of my most favorite things, as as Alan just said, is watching Sue blossom right in front of us and and take leadership and 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 grow every day and have the desire to grow and lead each of you to 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 have an environment like you just said, Shoshana, where we're all in a place where we're working together, helping each other grow, nurture, and build a real estate business. And Sue is the catalyst for all of us. So a huge cheers for peers continuing that to Sue. Sure. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. All right, so, so as you guys saw, we naturally flowed into Cheers for Peers. This is uh, the part of the meeting where we give gratitude, where we share uh, 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 energy for those uh, that, that have gone above and beyond and who have touched our lives. Uh, here's a secret in giving gratitude. The person who gives it usually gets more out of the, uh, the, the Cheer for Peer. So, so give it a try and, and see how you feel. Uh, I'm gonna open this up, so, so let's see how this flows. So I have a uh, thanks to Eddie. He connected me with uh, an agent in Key West. And um, so we are hoping to have this uh, 750,000 listed from an uh, agent that has full knowledge of that area. Also today, I passed a uh, NDA to a New York um, referral that also Eddie provided for a large transaction for a hotel. So thank you, thank you, Eddie, for being so available to, to definitely hear what's going on and then um, having someone quickly, because I've never seen somebody be so quickly responsive. Eddie, you are amazing, thank you. Thank Alexandra, you. you know what I call Eddie? What's that? First of all, welcome aboard, sweetheart. I hear nothing but great things about you. You know what I call Eddie? What's that? Steady Eddie. He's wow. steady Eddie. <laughs> yep. Thank steady you, Eddie. Eddie. Thank you, thank you. Uh, uh, Alan, I connected her with uh, Dottie's daughter, Francesca. Oh, yeah. great. Oh, yeah. Alexandra, even better. Oh, I loved her. Oh. She was so Oh, quick. my God, unbelievable people. Unbelievable. Her mom, yeah. Dory is in business with me in Fall Lauderdale. Unbelievable people. I'm, I'm excited. She was very knowledgeable. She's fabulous. I'm trying to keep it in the family the best I can. Yes. So. <laughs> yes. Steady right. Eddie. <laughs> Thank you. My boy. Thank you. All right, who's next? Yeah, I would also like to give a cheers for peers always for the for the leadership and also for Sue. I mean, I'm I'm telling you, it's incredible the way I see her move when I'm at the office and and her taking charge. So I really give a cheers for peers to her and being on top of everything. Also to Eddie as well for everything that he's doing and also giving me a couple of referrals as well that we're actively searching with out of state buyers. So I really appreciate that and uh, I'm excited to see where where this office is going to go in the next year and be one of the one of the top market centers in this area. Amen. For sure. Thank you. Thank you, David. You're welcome, Sue. We appreciate you, Sue. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I have, well, I'll go back to you guys. So it's really like excited, like 
I have no words like to see you guys like David every day here at the office and just to see you every morning making your calls. I'm able to feel you <laughs> now. I'm so close mm-hmm. to you. <laughs> um, like the way you just do it is amazing. So just by listening to you and like the way that you growing your business, like it's really um, excited and I'm really, really happy for you. And Kathy, I love you, Kathy. <laughs> it's always good to see you in the office. <laughs> Thank you, Sue. Yes. Thank you. We appreciate that. Yes, I mean, I'm telling you guys, it's from her being in the morning as the MCA, yeah. as, as the MCA, then go to the desk in the afternoon. It's just amazing. We we really appreciate you, Sue. Thank nice. you. Thank you, guys. I want to give a cheers for peers for Sahina and Monique. Um, they're also in the same uh, coaching class. And so when you put yourself out there uh, to, to be positive and stuff, like I have worked in places where you know, I put that positivity out there and it was shot down. And there's nothing more important than the encouragement of positive energy. And the way that they encouraged it, I, I uh, am so appreciative and want to give a cheers for peers to them. Amen. Nice. I want to thank uh, all the agents that come in starting at 7 in the morning. They're full of enthusiasm, screaming, <laughs> yelling, excitement. Uh, I love it, and it gets me going for the whole day. Larry, but us old guys, show them how it's done every day, right, Larry? Talk for yourself. (laughs) (laughs) Yo, Larry sets the example. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. Guys, you come in on a Saturday. Well done. um, Larry's in the office making prospecting calls, leading by example. Larry, I'm so glad you started with your wins and successes. Because I love hearing it because you are the hardest working real estate agent in South Florida and and you lead by example every day. Um very grateful to have you part of this team. Thank you. Thank you. Me too. So that energy that that um that um Larry was just talking about, I call it the COVID crew. Yes, so because, no. because the moment that uh that that everyone Uh, When I say everyone, the majority of agents took five steps backwards because of what happened with COVID. These guys came in and went 10 steps forward and really ramped up their lead generation, um, kept coming into the office, socially distancing and wearing masks. And yet lead generate, lead generate, lead generate. And these guys are all having record months in July and flowing into August. So, So Larry, thanks for recognizing them because um, they are here every day, rocking and rolling. All right, so I have one, if go you ahead. don't mind. No, go ahead. Um, thanks to Eddie for always letting me go on the PC calls. I love it. Um, they're awesome, and the, the team seems to be growing, so thank you for the support. Also like to thank Pablo and Larry for our Amazing mastermind calls every week. Uh, more of you should jump on. It's always at Wednesday at one o'clock or 12 o'clock. Um, I think we're changing it to one, but anyway, it's amazing. So thank you guys. I look forward to it every week. Um, and I just think the office is amazing. So thanks for supporting me and letting me be. Lee froze up there. Yeah. Yeah, I froze up too. Kathy right. has Are an incredible back? guava story. Okay, I want to hear that guava story again. <laughs> Bruce, you're there. <laughs> I was going to say, I think someone's going to hear it. Do you guys want to hear it? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, man. All I heard was the guava story. <laughs> if you want to share the story. <laughs> All right. Is, is, is yeah? Because you guys froze. Is it a joke or do you want me to share it? Because I'll share it. Uh-oh. I think it was a joke. It, Alan. Share it. Let's go. <laughs> no, no, no. Share it. What happened was Catherine congratulated you for a new home. And oh. I said, make sure to share with yep. you her with her your guava story. Not now, afterwards. Lesson learned. Lesson learned. <laughs> All right. Sorry, guys. My my uh, my computer froze, or uh, we froze here. Um, let's uh, continue. This is the this is my favorite part of the meeting. All 
All right, go once. Go in twice. Yeah, this uh, this oh, is me. Uh, go ahead yeah, and go. This, yeah, this goes back to Sheikah for getting me on bowl. You know, I I almost passed up on it, and um, and when I get that text that I can get in, I was like, wow, you know. So, um, I appreciate that. You know, that that was that was something because things like these, it's 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 something that I never want to miss. Yeah, you know. And so I appreciate that. Yeah, we're going to talk more about uh, Bolt here in a little bit, Miguel. So, so I'd love for you to share when, when the time comes uh, what you really took away in the last two sessions. So looking forward to, uh, to your feedback and, and takeaways. Fair enough? Awesome. All right. So, so as uh, flowing, flowing into the meeting, so grateful for you guys. And welcome uh, any guests that we have on the line. I was trying to flip through to see um, where you are at, so grateful that you are part of this uh, this meeting. What great energy uh, we as a team have brought. So thank you team and um, welcome, welcome, welcome as a guest. Um, can we please get a volunteer to read the uh, belief system at Keller Williams and the mission statement? One volunteer. Win, win or no deal, integrity, do the right thing. Customers always come first. Commitment in all things. Communication, seek first to understand. Creativity, ideas before results. Teamwork, together everyone achieves more. Trust starts with honesty and success results through people. Awesome, Anna, and continue with the mission statement. Building careers worth having, businesses worth owning, lives worth living, experiences worth giving, and legacies worth living. Awesome. And Sue, the floor is yours. Thank you, Lee. So we proudly welcome to the family a new members to our KWEP family. Welcome Gabriel Isesi, TT Velasquez, um, Kim Gonzalez, all sponsored mm -hmm. by Lee Rosa, Lauren Buffington by Sheikha Anderson. Consuelo Barquesto by Eddie. Ali Huey. Hi, Ali. <laughs> by Eddie. Sylvia by Jolan Citro. And Ilma Balenza, welcome back to the office. Really happy to have you back in the office and welcome to all of you. Please help me to give a warm welcome to the agents. Awesome, awesome, awesome. <laughs> and Thank you guys. Uh, so happy birthdays and belated birthdays for August birthdays. Um, happy belated birthday, Pablo and Eddie. Um, thank you, thank you. We have Luis Lopez, Jensi Florentino, Maria, Martin, <laughs> Bernie, Westermeyer, Alicia Cuba, and Steven. Great for August birthdays. Happy birthday, Happy guys. birthday to all of you guys. Thank you, thank you. And August anniversary, congratulations to all our agents, part of our KWEP family. Vince Oliveira with 14 years with us, Eliane and Koa with 12 years, Lauren Payton with eight years, Elad Barocca, seven years, Chloe Simran, <laughs> help me there, Lee, <laughs> four years, Kevin Burnett, two years, and Guido Moda, one year. Congratulations to all of you guys. Yeah, those years are serious, yeah. serious. Very, very grateful to be in business with you guys. So exciting. And uh, look, the, we have uh, partners with um, uh, Harbor Title and Van Dyke Mortgage, and, and they bring tremendous value. And it's only fair that they get opportunities to, to share with you who they are, what's going on in the market. And, and Ari, uh, the, the, the floor is yours. Uh, welcome to the to the meeting and uh, our inaugural Thursday 1115 time. The floor is yours. Hi everybody. Thank you ladies, for that introduction. Um, I'm driving from an appointment otherwise I would be showing you my face <laughs> but I'm in the car coming back from another appointment. Um, the market is steady and increasing. There was a quarterly report that was released from one of my title insurance underwriters that just, you know, what 
was anticipated to be a slowdown in the market as a result of, you know, the pandemic has resulted in the opposite with, um, and with increasingly lower interest rates, people are buying and closings are happening. Um, and that was evident from a lot of uh, people's shares this morning. And I'm so happy for our agents who are being able to take advantage of a great market right now. Um, also, I wanted to mention that um, I just had a, I had a call with one of the agents from this office yesterday, and we were going over some strategies um, for a possible, I don't think it was, a, it, I guess a breach, but just what his options were. So I put on my attorney hat and I helped negotiate with him and come up with some um, game plans, some options that he can present to his seller. So I always want to remind people, especially new agents that are welcome coming onto the team, that not only am I your preferred title agent and partner, I'm also a real estate attorney. So I'm, and as a partner, um, you kind of get free legal advice. I don't like to um, advertise that because I never want to be able to, I never want to say that I'm giving legal advice, especially to people who are not my clients. But I am able to counsel you guys as agents and come up with game plans that you need so you can pass along information to your buyers or sellers to help them make the best educated decision, whether it's, shoot, whether it's in the beginning of a contract and negotiating terms or if something happens along the way that requires maybe some legal action. So... I'm available for you for those kind of consultations and happy to do so. So although we never like to have those moments, it's a good resource for everybody to have. Um, and that's really it for my little spiel today. Welcome to the new agents and thank you everybody for sharing and have a great day. Awesome. Awesome, Ari. And, and thank you for adding that uh, because don't take that for granted, guys. Having a Having a, a attorney-based title company is, is, is massive leverage for your business and a value add to your uh, consultations and listing uh, presentations. So, 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 so well done, Ari, and, and very grateful for, um, for everything that you do for, for our team. So thank you. All right, Catherine, the uh, floor is yours. Hey everybody, good morning. I love this new time slot, by the way. Yeah, us too. <laughs> um, so I always like to share a little story with you guys that might help. Um, I had a deal fall apart a couple of weeks ago. It was an FHA deal because the seller refused to repair the roof. Um, he thought that the it would cost too much money and I told the listing agent that nobody else is going to be able to buy this property because the roof has to be done. Well, he dug his heels in. He said, forget it, not doing it. So the buyer moved on. We're under contract with another property and it's beautiful. Um, so I got a call today from another loan officer and she said, um, I have somebody buying this property. Can you transfer the FHA case number? Because there's always a case number with FHA and it stays with the property. I said, sure, what's the property? And she told me, I looked it up and I said, well, what about the roof? And she said, well, the seller fixed the roof. So the message I guess is that I'd like you guys to know, just speak to your sellers and try and reason with them because eventually he was gonna to have to do it anyway. He could have had this house sold a month and a half ago, but he dug his heels in and thought he knew better than everybody else. Um, and lo and behold, he had to fix the roof. So, yeah, and I yeah. think he took a price reduction as well. So well, not only did he have to pay for the roof, but he's selling the house for less. And he had another mortgage payment. Yes, exactly. So, and he went through a hurricane, maybe, <laughs> you know, could have been a hurricane. Right. So all of those things, I mean, if you run into this problem with your sellers, just try and remember these little stories that you hear or that I tell you, just so you can remind them that waiting is never a good idea. And there will be. It needs to be done, just take care of it. Um, about the hurricane, so something else has come up, even though it wasn't really a hurricane. Um, many lenders require a final inspection of the property, not necessarily inside, but they want a picture of the outside, just to make sure the building is still standing. 
So just be aware of that. That might delay you a couple of days. Maybe not if the seller's right there and they do it. But um, but I'm seeing this now since the hurricane has passed. Everybody's asking for the final photographs just to make sure everything is standing up straight. Uh, there's that. Um, I'm taking bold with you guys. I'm loving it. Um, it's reminding me of a lot of the things I should be doing. <laughs> So I appreciate it. And um, you guys kind of gave me the push. So um, anyway, I'm here for you. So the rates are amazing. They're still in the crazy low threes or twos, depending on the loan program you're in. Um, so get those buyers going, get them under contract. Awesome. Thanks, Catherine. And uh, you brought up bold and um, as if you knew what the next slide was. And uh, <laughs> We have a, a, an amazing roster uh, going in. If, if I knew, Catherine, you were taking it, I would have added you to this amazing roster of agents who have committed their time into the BOLD program. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Aventura. Aventura. I, I am so proud of you. I'm going to share something. Um, since Richard and I have, since Richard and I purchased this market center a year and a half ago, and you're in our family um, with your big brother and big, big sister, Fort Lauderdale and Coral Springs. Aventura has never been number one in anything we all do together until now. Celebrate yourself. There are more agents in Aventura from the Waxman Group taking bold than either of the other two market centers. Wow! Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Stay used to it. Good. Yeah. I'm gonna take a picture of this. Yes. Please do, Alan. Please do. And Lee, you know what we have to do tonight on the ELT, don't you? Oh, we're so we're gonna we're gonna love all over this. No. <laughs> we, got, we, got, we, got, we gotta actually we gotta actually let the other two team leaders know that uh, they gotta watch out for Aventura. Amen. You know, John loves competition. He's gonna hate Eddie that he loses, right? <laughs> Wow. Yes, he does. He does. Hey, All right. There's at least two more, Larry Lewis and Pablo. Yes. yes. <laughs> Make sure we add it. And, and Catherine, there's three more. Yes. Lee, Lee, change that slide for tonight and show it tonight at our ELT, okay? Will do. Okay. Will do. Well done, Sue. Sounds good. Sounds good. I'm, trying, I'm trying to figure out how did well I done, type that many people in such a short time. <laughs> right. You did amazing, Sheikha. You did that amazing. Through. Chica! Yeah. <laughs> An amazing job. And I love oh, this. Guys, you know I call Eddie, Steady Eddie, I call Chica Shakira. <laughs> <laughs> girl. Oh man. So so I mean I'm I'm tearing in joy, guys. This is this is a big deal. Uh this is a this is this is life changing, game changing, and the opportunity in front of this market center, because of each one of you that have that have committed to this, this this amazing class, uh, I, I wanted to take the next five seven minutes for those that that have attended the last two classes, which I too have attended the last two classes. What you uh, what ahas or takeaways you've uh, you've had? So think of this as let's spitfire some of the 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 the, the wows or the takeaways. Um, and, and let's share with those that haven't taken uh, bold pivot what they what they're missing. My relationship with my database to Ooh. treat my database like I'm dating it, engaged to it, married to it. I love that. Right, right, right. In other words, are you divorced from your database? Are you married but just not talking? <laughs> are you on a dating basis? Right. You gotta There's nourish. Database cheating on you. Ooh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Wow, Ryan doesn't speak Ryan. much, but when he does, it's a pearl of wisdom. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> well said, Ryan. <laughs> so good. All right, who's next? Aha's takeaways. Let's do Monique. We haven't heard Monique in a while. Monique, come on in. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Monique. Good morning, everybody. Um, my takeaway was mostly something that I always used to hear Lee talk about, which is 
like someone said before, your database. A healthy database is a happy database. So you have to feed it. And I most I mostly got out of it the um the fort sandwich. I never heard of the fort sandwich before. So that was something that um I really liked. And of course I love Molly's her her energy, you know, that 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 gets me going when I listen to the bold. Awesome. Yeah, the fort sandwich. Family, occupation, recreation, dreams. Well done, Monique. Who's Thank next? You, hey, Leah, it's Miguel. Um, I love, I love the fact that when they share that, if 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 you're a new agent and you drop into a new market, you could start your database by going out and reach out to business owner and just ask them, who do you know needs my service? And then from there, you just start expanding your database. And it's like, it's, just, it's as simple as that. And that just open up a way where I could even start doing that in my market. Yeah, well done. Who's next? Hi, Lee. Hey, um, how are you? Uh, the Hello, Sue. Thank you again for everything. Happy birthday, um, Pablo. Wow, thank you, thank you. I'm still, uh, yeah, thank you. Um, what Gary Keller remind us that at this point, if we have any seller on the fence, this is the time that we ought to have that very uh, important conversation that this is probably, it's gonna be the best time to get the highest price for their home. Uh, we don't know what's going to happen six, seven months down the road yet. If, if there is a flood of foreclosures coming down, that can affect the value of their property. So if they are on that edge right now. Wow. Well done. We're going to talk about that later on on my parting thoughts, Pablo. Thanks for bringing that part up. <clears throat> One of my takeaways was uh, Gary says in the, in the millionaire real estate agent, until you have enough leads to meet or exceed your goals, nothing else matters. So essentially organizing and working your database is the 20% of the real estate business that can lead to 80% of your closings or more. So spend disproportionate energy on the money producing activities or the 80% of your time on the database and generating leads. That was my one wow and aha. I got a couple Lee. Go ahead down. Okay, so first I have, we are what we decide we will be, and we do what we decide we will do. Therefore, we become our choices. Gary said, this is an industry of words, meaning scripts and dialogues. You don't sell buyers and sellers. You understand how to speak with them and share and share with those buyers and sellers how they can make better decisions. Your goal is to become an honest, hardworking realtor that knows your scripts and dialogues that leads your buyers and sellers to make the right decision. Back to what Catherine said, if I were the agent who knew my scripts and dialogues, I would have been able to share with that seller why it was important for them to fix their roof now because they were eventually going to fix their roof. He then said, whether your clients, based on what you say, whether your clients say yes or no, this is so Gary, is irrelevant. That was his word is irrelevant if I, meaning the realtor, do the work 
and make the calls daily. I'm eventually going to get paid. Huge. Yeah. Wow. Thanks, Alan, for sharing. Can we get uh, one or two more? Going once. Hey, Lee, I yeah, have something. So go ahead. I think it's just a reminder of how accountable we need to be for ourselves. It's easy to kind of fall off the wagon from time to time. Mm -hmm. um, but it's, it's just nice to hear that you just have to keep doing it and doing it and doing it and doing it and doing it. And, doing it. and don't let it lapse no matter what else happens. Time on task over time. Mm -hmm. Well done. Summer, you're up. Um, I thought that when they were talking about the call bias was pretty huge um, yeah. because I knew that I was doing it, but I didn't like have a word for it. And so I realized like you just need to stop doing it. And they did offer like a solution for it, which was great. I love it. Yeah. Isn't it such a mindset opportunity to be part of Bull Pivot? Definitely. Well done. Summer, I think the solution you were you you were um, speaking of was the DTD four. Um, no, it was like they went over a little bit of a script, like, oh yeah, we haven't talked in a while. I yeah, I yeah. really remember you, but you know, tell me where we met. Mm, yeah, yeah. So you know, that's the script. The 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 bias. How you, how you beat call bias is just know that. You're never going to know who's going to be the right call. And if yeah. you follow the D, the DT, D2, just do the two with, with the first and last name letter, the, first, the last, the letter of the person's last name in the alphabet, that's the system. The script yeah. is wonderful, though. You're right. Great yeah. script. Amen. Yeah. Yay. All right. Do we have one more? Go once, go twice, all right. Well then the floor is to the productivity coaches. Sheikah, Eddie, Eddie, Sheikah, take it away. Good morning, are we still morning? Yes. <laughs> yes it is. So, <laughs> um, today uh, we have um, the classes that everyone in the PC program should pay attention and focus on is 1 p.m. How to use DocuSign. That one is a, a must. Please make sure you're in that class because I'm going to be in it too. <laughs> um, 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 1 p.m. How to leverage with Scott Leroy Marketing for your business. If you already know how to use the DocuSign, then you can um, leverage on Scott Lee marketing, but please learn the DocuSign first before Scott Lewis if you're in that situation. So Sheikah, um, let, let me hop in. Sheikha, let me hop in. So so today is DocuSign. Now every day at 8 a.m., James Shaw, who is one of the top leaders of our region, leads a 20 to 25 minute Facebook live call on mindset. The one thing, shift and building your business in today's market. Then it's requested that you hop on to John Dietz, who is uh, my mentor and one of the top leaders in the country with Survive to Thrive, which is another Zoom call. That's every day at 8 to 8.30. Now on Friday, we got Scott Leroy at one o'clock, which will flow right into uh, the bold coaching corner, right? Go ahead, Chica. Yes. Um, so Friday, we have the bold coaching corner. Um, and then we have the lifeline with Gary Kelly. And what was this one for, Lee? Yeah, yeah. So Gary has a, a 30 minute uh, a live interview at four o'clock every Friday. And uh, it's, they are recorded and yet. When you get any time with Gary Keller, those that were on Bold Pivot. Did I freeze? Yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, sorry about that, guys. I, I ordered an, thanks to Ryan, I ordered an Ethernet um, adapter today. So, so that won't happen, happen again. Um, so, so Gary on Friday has a 30 minute interview um, on the Lifeline, which is a, a powerful interview and, and you get Gary. And if you were on Bull Pivot, you notice that, that anytime you get it, a few minutes with Gary Keller, he's dropping nugget after nugget to help implement and grow your business. And next week. Next week on Monday, very special all agent meeting with a special individual, Alan Waxman. <laughs> <laughs> uh, make sure you're there or be square. <laughs> um, Tuesday, 1 p.m. was a group coaching with Lee. As you can hear in our meetings that um, you can benefit big on the group coaching with Lee from our reviews and testimonies. On Tuesday, 2 p.m. is bold. Bold is really important. Make sure you take your classes and bold attend, make notes to review. Wednesday, 11 a.m., Matrix 101 Basics with Sean Sassoon. Wednesday, 1 p.m., group coaching with Lee again. Wednesday, 2 p.m., Bowl Coaches Corner. Awesome. Awesome. Any parting thoughts uh, from the PC program before Ryan takes, uh, takes the floor? Uh, it's participation is the biggest thing in the PC Coach program. It's not just learning and it's not just takeaways. You have to participate, get your blood flowing and your mind going and share information with each other. Because, you know, there's a lot of people in the program that are brand new and, you know, what someone is doing on the left may be something he's not doing on the right. And then we can cross reference. And even for Eddie and myself, we learn as well from you. So we, we feed from each other. So your participation is greatly appreciated. Awesome. Thanks, Sheikha. And that's, uh, that's our advertisement for the uh, all agent meeting on Monday at 3.30 p.m. Blowing into Ryan. Welcome, Ryan. Thanks, Sue. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, we're going to go straight with the amazing news. Amazing. So go to the next slide, Lee. Really. Woohoo! For the first time since October of 2019, our market share is our market center is profit sharing. That means all of you who took an initiative to be a stakeholder in your market center and referred agents to your team leader, you got to share in the profits of our market center. That is the gift of the Profit Share program, seven, almost $7,400 this month. So Yay. congratulations everyone who is participating. And if you're not participating in Profit Share, why? Ask yourself, why are you not every agent that you are working with why are you not telling them about how amazing Keller Williams is and asking them for permission to have team, your team leader give them a call? You want some of this money? Give, give, a, give Lee some phone numbers. That's it. Yep, that's you it. Put, you can put in the chat box right now, guys. Put in the chat box. <laughs> you have to say money, Ryan. It's not money, it's money. <laughs> money. <laughs> All right, next slide. Yep. Some more great news. Our ownership group has decided to extend the stimulus package splits. So for now, anything that you can get to close in August will be subjected to the new, the, the same increased splits that you were getting. So if you were on a 70-30, you're now on an 80-20. If you were on 80-20, you're now on 85-15. So let's get, get some closings in here this month and we'll get you guys some extra money <clears throat> um, next slide there Lee or Sue whoever's controlling the slides so here's your list activity in the MLS Whoop. Oh. there you go <laughs> yeah the market's hot Market's super hot um, I'll hop in there Ryan um, sure, sure. guys look at this absorption rate absorption rate is 65% which is which is unreal that means in the last seven days, 250 new listings and 163 came off the market, <laughs> which is unbelievably hot. Um, 
which is why you're hearing Larry and David and, and those that are focusing on listings having the best months of, of their career or the year is because with interest rates as low as they are, everything is coming off of the shelf. The market is on fire right now, and this proves it. So, so thanks, Ryan, for, for your few minutes. And um, that, that leads us on over to Majende. Hello, everybody. Good morning. Hey, Good guys. Morning. Okay, everybody can hear me. Um, I want to talk to you guys about the Facebook group. Inside of our Facebook group, you'll find upcoming classes, recordings from previous trainings. We have um, office and agent celebrations, achievements, and congratulations. Um, for the past uh, couple of days ago was Eddie's birthday, and we had a mini celebration in the office, and we were able to put that online so you guys can see the little celebration. We kept social distancing, of course. But we just wanted to show Eddie how we appreciated him. So on the Facebook page, you'll get an inside view of the office without technically being in the office. So that's always good. So just keep your notifications up and whenever something comes up, we'll post it on there. Sweet. All right. This is next uh, several slides are, um, wow. So Sue, fire away. Sue. Sorry, <laughs> one of the agents here. Hi, Abby. <laughs> Good to see you in the office. Um, so, uh, first of all, congratulations to all of our agents on their new listings for last week. Uh, the DPO team with a 1.2. Congratulations, Antonio. I think you're on the call. Congrats to you guys. And awesome job on everything that you're doing and I want to thank um, Vinicius for his hard work on um, up DA together. It was so easy so I want to bring that up so it's really easy to get a DA. Just just communicate with me and I'm really happy to help you guys. Uh, jumping into the bias group, David and Kat, congratulations on your 479.9. Uh, as I'm going through the listings, if you guys want to talk a little bit about your listings, um, feel free to do so at the end when we bring everything up. So, or if you guys want to do it now, just let me know. Just jump in on the call. Uh, next, we have John Price and Judy and Diane. Congratulations. Congratulations. Also to Garen Genevieve and Jalan Citro. And we have Shlomo Menahan and RGT. And Judith and Diane with the rental and Lena Biner with another rental. We have Ness with two rentals. Congratulations, Ness. And I look at um, Evan and Jose and Sola. Congratulations to you guys, Bernie and Jackie Westermeyer. And Sola and Fight Group again, and then Sola Fight with another rentals. Congratulations to all of you guys. And if you guys want to talk a little bit about your listings, just let us know. You're welcome to do so right now. So congratulations all. Yay. Yeah, if anyone would like to talk about their listings, fire away. And then uh, and then I am going to uh, blow you guys away with some super powerful uh, parting thoughts with a with a plan to uh, to take market share. Go once. Once, twice. All right. Lower is yours, Lee. All right. So, so hopefully, um, you guys have a pen and paper. Uh, this is being recorded, and what I am about to share with you um, will, if you choose to, will allow you to change the face of your business 
and change your year and change your career. This article came out a few weeks ago. Maybe you saw it, maybe you didn't. 32% of all US households miss their July housing payments. 32%. I want to let that sink in for a second. If you have a database of 300, statistically speaking, 96 people in your database made no payment or a partial house payment in the month of July. Team, this means that there will be some sort of action taken against a quarter, I'm sorry, a third of your database over the next 90 days. Now, hopefully when I share this, opportunity pops inside your mind. That, wow, okay, how can we take advantage of this? What does taking advantage of this look like? How can we help those in need? Because 32% of the US population that owns a home missed their payment last month. So let's talk about what we can do. How about calling your entire database, the DTD2, or in bold as the DTD4, and start with a script of, hey, Alan, did you hear 32% of America missed their housing payment? Let's not do that. How about if you don't go, hey, how was your month last month? Did you miss your mortgage payment? This is not how to do it. I wanted to put that first and foremost so that you guys can see this is the way to not attack your database. Yet, here's a script. You guys could all take pictures of it. It's gonna be shared. It could go something like, hey, Alan, I'm sure you saw the article by now that 32% of U.S. households missed their July payment. Who do you know that needs my help? Who do you know that needs my help? And they'll share, my cousin, my next door neighbor, yeah, me. So I want you guys to see the difference between the two. Hey, did you hear? Or hey, how was your month last month? Or hey, did you lose your job? That's not what to do. Yet this script right here, hey, I'm sure you saw the article by now that 32% of all US households missed their July payment. Who do you know that needs my help? The word or the market of the moment, team, is the word forbearance. The market of the moment is forbearance. And I shared here the link. We're going to have it in our Facebook group. It actually is already in our Facebook group. This is the link. It is a 47-minute dissection of knowing everything there is to know about forbearance. That videos had 2,300 views. That means 2,300 people in our, in our company have taken a few minutes and watched the video and watched the video to gain knowledge of how to hold this conversation. So let's put this into perspective. How can we help? Well, when someone says, yeah, um, you know, I, I actually am one of those people. First thing you could do is perform a CMA on their property. First thing you can do is perform a CMA. 
because this wave that's coming today is so different than what happened in 2006. Because the bottom of the market here in South Florida, guys, was 2009. Which means for 11 years, our folks have been gaining equity. Which means that the majority of the folks that missed their payment have an equity position on their property. Mm -hmm. So we get to consult them in refinancing their house to make their payments or consult them on selling their property. So here's the beautiful next part, team. What if they're an investor? What if you're having a conversation with someone in your database that's an investor? Because if 32% of the US population missed their payment, wouldn't the tenants stop paying as well? Can I get a thumbs up if that makes sense? Yep. Absolutely. Team, this is opportunity. So if they're an investor, one out of three, in theory, that own a property have a tenant that stopped paying their mortgage, that stopped paying rent. Mm -hmm. And I own investment property. I don't have a 32% spread. Which is opportunity to hold conversation. Mm -hmm. So a script could be, hey, who do you know that's also an investor that needs help right now? How many investors do you think today need our help? Yeah, a lot, yeah. a lot. Now, what a great opportunity this is to help an investor sell their partial for portfolio or unload their entire portfolio. Because this is the market of the moment, as Pablo shared earlier. This is the market of the moment. When we call our database and ask, hey, I'm sure by now you saw the article that came out last month by CNBC that 32% of all homeowners missed their payment. Who do you know that could use my help? This is how we create listings. Now, I, I want to pause here for a second and help you create a mindset around this. The best time to sell real estate is when you have equity in your home. And the majority of South Floridians have equity in their homes. We've been in a bull market for 11 years. So as you're consulting, don't be surprised that, that folks sell their properties today and decide to rent for a year or two to rebuild. Their kids left the property. They don't need the square footage anymore. And they'll take steps backwards, rent for a couple years because they own their properties and move forward. And they'll take a breath, breathe for a second and wait till the market goes down, which is inevitable the moment interest rates go up. It's inevitable as forbearance continues over the next 90 days. Is this making sense? Can I get a thumbs up if this is making a little bit of sense? Awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So, so let me ask you guys a question. Thank you for the thumbs up, guys. I love the interaction. I appreciate it. So let me ask you a question. Gary Keller interviewed uh, an author by the name of Keith Cunningham back in March. Maybe it was early April. And Keith Cunningham said, in the middle of March, a meteorite hit the earth. And we, as a, as a, civil, as a society, are never going back to life the way it was before the meteorite. 
And what he's referring to is, is that the government has set a standard that if things get bad, we're going to shut down. We're going to lock down. Not saying we're going to, yet there's been a standard. And, and there's an election in November, and that means that it's a possibility. So as a team, guys, let me ask you this question. If you knew, I mean, you got in a crystal ball and, or you got in a time machine and you knew that the, the fourth quarter, as a country, we were going to be in a complete lockdown, what are you doing today, right now, to prepare for it? And this is an opportunity to take full advantage of the market today, to reach out to your sphere and help those in a time of need right now. Because if you have a database of a thousand, 340 folks missed their payment. And those folks need to have conversations, choose to have conversations, and that's the opportunity right in front of you to help them have a conversation with a professional about forbearance, about leveraging the equity they still have in their home, helping them refinance or sell and move on and help the market continue to move. So what are you guys hearing in this? I'll open this up. Lee, Lee just a quick I... reminder. Oh, go ahead, Richard. Welcome to the party, Richard. Hi, Richard. I've been watching for a while. I'm, I'm real I proud of you, you guys today. That's an awesome, awesome team meeting. Congratulations, and glad you did move it to Thursdays. Me too. Um, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna make a couple comments on this. First of all, appreciate the dialogues, the scripts, the directions, everything that Lee is giving you on this. However, every month I teach a statistics class called Keeping Currents Matters. This is the type of thing that I talk about. And specifically, Lee, your numbers are not correct. Okay. It is not 36% of all homeowners have not made their mortgage payment because 40, over 42% of all homes in this country are owned free and clear. They didn't miss those payments. Mm -hmm. So you might have 36% of 60%. It's a totally different number. Now your direction there also understand guys that um, you've got 16.5% own somewhere or have somewhere between 60 and 100% equity in their homes. You've got another 12.5% over 40% equity in their homes. Bottom line is that if you take somebody that has over 20% equity in their house, it's over 70% of all homeowners. These people are not going into foreclosure. However, if they are missing their mortgage payments, this is an excellent time for you to have a conversation with them about what they're thinking and what they can do. And that's where your dialogues, your conversations are absolutely right on the nose, Lee. But you, the, the classes that I teach, and, and guys, next week on the 12th, Alan and I are teaching quarterly stats. Yes. That is a two-part presentation. One of it I have drawn from a webinar that was done called um, what's basically what's happening for the balance of 2020, which are national numbers so that you can understand what's going on behind what Lee's just been talking about. And then the second part of it is looking at the specifics of what happened in the second quarter in Dade and Broward County. Everyone in the market center should be on that webinar, on that Zoom call. And we have an incredible guest speaker coming online to talk to us about what he's seen from the mortgage side of the industry. 
So mark it in your calendars now. It's on, on the 12th. I just put it in the chat group, Richard. I just put it in. Okay. And it's from 10 until 12. Yeah. So it's not interfering with bold. There is nothing that's going to give you a better understanding of what's going on in the market than to come to the stats presentation and put it in your calendar when it comes out when I'm doing the monthly stats. This is the dialogue that you should be having with your customers. Thank you, Lee. Uh, Fabulous meeting, guys. Appreciate it all. Thank you, Richard. Richard. Uh, I would like to add also uh, that the words that we use in this uh, dialogue with our clients and our database is critical because we are part of a solution and we're still in a state of caring. And to deliver uh, negative news, um, we have to be very careful. Uh, so we're here to tell its story and that's why it's important to attend that uh, statistics class to be able to properly tell the story in order to be part of that solution. Yep. Well said, well said Pablo. And Sue, for, for everybody, Sue, um, you'll send out the flyer that, that we have created that, that yeah, Nelly's- Yeah, flyer's final. been going out and it's also posted in Facebook. Uh, the link is gonna be going out also to your um, emails as well. Awesome. So it's been going out and it's posted and we're gonna repost the link on Facebook. Awesome. So you guys will see it multiple times. Okay. Yes. The email so here, link is so perfect here's the because ask. it. Sorry, Wait, here's the ask for all of you that are on this call. There's 37 of you on this call. Reach out to just two other people in the market center. Make a personal contact with two other people in the market center and ask them to please set that time aside next week to be on the stats call. You got it, Rich. And, and I, I will leave you with this. And then, Lee, you can take it out. Yep. Gary says, I said it earlier, Gary said in bold, this is not an industry of selling and listing homes. This is an industry of words, scripts, dialogues. And in that is included in that, ladies and gentlemen, are statistics. So we have a better understanding of our industry and then how to share that information with our buyers and sellers so they can make the right decisions. That's how critical this is, right? And he or she, the real estate sales professional, he or she, who is better at this now will be the agent who wins. Because this is a this is a very different market and an incredible opportunity. Pablo, you're gonna love what I say to first help people, <laughs> care about people, and then help them make a really good decision for their real estate needs mm -hmm. included and not limited to close to free money. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know how old you are. I do know how old I am. And I can tell you that when I bought my first home in my late twenties, I paid 12.375%. And I was excited to do so because that was the interest rate. 12.375%. There are people on this call like Tony and other young millennials, which I have two of them myself, who've never heard of such a thing and don't understand that. What I do know is some of the people that you're going to be lead generating to, like Richard and I, was 6.875, this is the part I'm embarrassed to say, interest only. And I'm supposed to be smart. But here's the thing, 
that's what the market was at the moment. Because houses, you would go, you would buy a home, you'd go to sleep, and the next day your house would be worth more. Because I moved here the end of 05. And that's what people were doing because rates that weren't interest only were 2% higher. And people weren't planning on staying in their home, except. I forget how the saying goes, Richard will laugh because I'm not good at this. Man makes plans and God laughs, something like that. Something like that. So I had a plan and it didn't work out. Because there's so many other things that happen. So we will, Richard and I will teach you. Richard teaches you every month. Richard and I will teach you on the 12th how to act like and speak like an economist, not a realtor. And I promise you, when you do that, you'll get more of your clients to listen, not listen to you, just listen and give them an opportunity to make a really wise decision. I know Catherine's not on this call any longer, but Catherine would tell you, I can promise you, I don't know when, yet I can promise you, Someday soon, rates will not be below 3% any longer. And then someday soon after that, they won't be below 4% any longer. And then someday soon after that, they won't be below 5% any longer. It's just going to happen. Don't allow this time to be the time that you turn around and bite yourself in the you-know-what and say, oh, Alan told me, Richard told me, Lee told me, and I didn't listen. This is a time where people with great credit can get a 30-year loan. Heck, a 50-year loan. I saw a 15-year loan. I saw a 15-year loan with somebody with really great credit at 2.875%. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Right? So we love you. Be there. Be square. Tony, I felt like you were about to say something, Tony, and Richard or and or I chatted before you. Is there something you wanted to add? You know, I was just going to say in terms of, uh, you know, the flyers and stuff that the emails are so important because it connects directly to the calendars in our phones. And yeah. so just now, for example, I got a notification for Lee's coaching class. So it's very important that, you know, uh, that statistic class is sent out in the email. Yes, 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 yes. It, Thank it, you. It, 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 will, it will be. Yes. It will. You mean in the, in the calendar with, with the link. Yeah. Um, the reason we did it this way, Tony, is we just got the date. We just got it done. And we don't have the Zoom link yet. So we're getting the flyer out. And within the next 24 hours, we'll have the Zoom link. So it'll be attached as well. Okay. Wonderful. I'll be there, man. Thank you yeah. so much. Awesome. Yes. Well, good idea. Uh, so, Fantastic. I will close this out with, uh, with a quick little, little uh, message. Uh, those that take action on the scripts, dialogues, statistics, uh, uh, calling your database, doing the DTD4 through bold, will be far ahead. We'll be far ahead. As uh, Gary Keller says, uh, it tells us in the shift book, the market share you take today you will never give back. And the agents who lose market share today will never get it back. So there's two questions that I want you guys to, to jot down and I'll leave you with these two questions. What are you doing to prepare for the fourth quarter? And what does your growth plan look like what classes are you taking? What coaching opportunities are you investing in for the rest of the third quarter and the fourth quarter? I will always be here for you. Alan Richard, our executive leadership team here in Aventura is here for you. Um, looking forward to seeing all of you in group coaching at one o'clock in about 25 minutes. Uh, we've been getting 20 agents in there. Please join us if you haven't. Same location, kwmiaftl.com. And I will see you guys in 25 minutes. And thank you for taking time out of your Thursday. And please bring a friend next go round. Thank you, everyone. Have a good day.
Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.